now look at the uh, just i would uh, like to show you the whiteboard on which the classification of the viruses have been de have been described so at first look at the whiteboard and try to understand the classification of viruses yeah. this is the classification of viruses viruses have been classified on various basis and the first basis of the classification of the virus is the host as you know that viruses are parasitic not only on the plants animal human beings and uh, plants animals and human being rather they are also parasitic on the bacteria so on the basis of their host which they attack the viruses have been classified into the three three groups the first group is known as the phytophagy the second group is the, is known as the zoophagy and the third group is known as the bacteriophage so the first the phytophag the group phytophagy include such viruses which are parasitic on the parasitic and pathogenic on the plant and the best example of the plant virus is the tmv tobacco mosaic virus which has been which is included in your syllabus and you have to study the structure and multiplication of the tmv so the the group phytophagy include the plant viruses and there are so many examples of the plant viruses like the tmv tymv Uh, turnip yellow mosaic virus tobacco mosaic virus cmv cauliflower mosaic virus and so on similarly the zoophagy group include the such viruses which are parasitic and pathogenic on the animal and human being so this is the group zoophagy in which the in which such viruses have been placed which are parasitic and pathogenic on the on the uh, animal and human being so as for example the best example of the animal viruses is the foot and mouth uh, foot and mouth disease virus which causes foot and mouth diseases in the animals like the buffalo and camel etc and that and solo channel which i see in fungi virus virus now look at the this third group bacteriophage such viruses which are which are parasitic on the which which attack and kill the which which are parasitic and which attack bacterial cell bacteria bacteria are called bacteriophage and the best example of the bacteriophage here i have written t4 phage and lambda phage so this is the first basis of the classification of virus now look at the second basis second basis of the class the viruses on the basis of their symmetry have been uh, maybe cubical virus helical virus complex virus the adenovirus adenovirus and herpes virus adenovirus is the best example of cubical virus and herpes virus tmv helical as far the example of viruses are concerned tmv tmv mixo virus mump virus these are the examples of the helical viruses now look at the complex such viruses which has complex symmetry the t4 phage pox virus they are included in the uh, complex viruses now look at the third basis of the classification on the basis of the presence or absence of the liquid or additional layer in some viruses there is presence of an additional layer in it is in addition to the protein see so on the basis of presence or absence of the additional layer additional layer the viruses have been placed into two groups like nucleus, which are also known as naked virus because they do not and the second group is the lipoviruses which has lipid and additional layer made up of lipid or lipoprotein as for example Yeah. Uh, lipovirus. Now look at the fourth basis of the classification on the basis of the on the basis of which got out. Maybe envelop, maybe complex viruses, tadpole shape. So there are on the basis of the shape viruses, maybe filamentous, isometric, envelop, complex shape viruses. On the basis. Now look at on the fifth basis of the classification of the virus. Nucleic acid viruses are of type deoxyribovirus and ribovirus. In case such viruses which have DNA as the genetic material are known as deoxyribovirus. Such viruses which have RNA, they are are included in ribovirus. Deoxyribovirus are of type nucleic acid DNA viruses. 